All right, so this video is gonna be a little different than all my other videos where it's just a GoPro footage. Um, you're gonna see me in the shots and that's why I'm making kind of like an intro clip, if you will. Um, I don't really care about myself. Uh, my YouTube channel focus is to share content and information. So I am irrelevant to that. However, uh, I am gonna be recording some scanner stuff and that's why you're gonna see me. So I, I figured might as well record an intro like this. So Shining 3D reached out to me and uh, offered me a loaner, uh, Vega. So that way I could play with it, see what I see, and then uh, share my opinions and make some videos about it for the channel. So it's a win-win for everyone. They get advertisement promotion and then uh, I get to play with it and see what I think. Um, my opinions are gonna be just that, my opinions. There's no financial gain here. I don't keep the unit, so I have nothing to win or lose from uh, saying it's good or it's bad. So that, that's, that's it, that. So what I'm gonna do first is, again, I don't care about doing unboxing videos and miscellaneous crap. For my channel, I like to share information and kind of how to DIY, stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan this little Lego piece, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my little tips and tricks with the rag because this one's a very tough one. It's a very tiny item and the tracking gets lost very quickly. So I wanna share how this rag trick that I do, and you, you, if you've seen some of my shorts, you've seen me use it on the car stuff, it works very well, especially for something this tiny. So with that said, I'm gonna grab the GoPro so that way I could focus on the screen and I'll do a picture in picture type of deal. But I'll share how it's gonna work with it just sitting here and then sitting on the rag and then you'll see how it uh, actually works out. So that's that. It's gonna be a little tough with one hand, but I think once I press play on the recording, it'll, it'll be much better. So first I'll just kind of record the settings I have. I'm doing HD mode and as high resolution as possible. Feature alignment only. I'm not doing texture alignment just because I want to share how the rag works. Of course, texture would probably help, but I'm not going to do that for this purpose. So with that being said is I'm just getting the, the scanner kind of focused in on something. I'm going to press play. And there we go. And as you can see, it's already losing tracking and getting tracking and losing tracking. So it's working, but it's not, not the most ideal situation. So with that said, I don't really need to share much more simply because this is a, a quick little demonstration of how the rag actually does help speed things up. So as you saw, quite a few uh, hiccups there with the tracking markers coming and going. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cancel out this scan. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but over here. And there we go. So I'm starting the scan. And now as you can see with the rag being the, uh, the marker, it's tracking very well. The only warnings I'm getting right now is get closer or further away from the item. So again, this isn't a full on solution to all problems, but if you have something where you do not want to add markers on or around, this works fantastic because the fabric is your marker and because of how detailed the fabric is and all the wrinkles, it keeps the tracking really nice and tight. Even like from top view, as you could see, all the little details in the rag are now being used as tracking assets. So there we go. As you can see, the only warnings we're getting is too far, too close. We're not losing tracking. And this is how I scan my cars. This is how I scan everything. I don't use tracking markers ever. This works amazingly well. So there's that. Now I'm gonna just stop it. And there we go. All right, so now we're here in Star Vision and uh, I'll just test this Lego one just to see what the quality is like after the scan. Um, 
What I'll probably do is pause it as it does the imports useless. All right, so here's the little Lego piece. And what I'll do is trim some of this fabric off because I don't want to process the whole thing. So what I'm doing is just kind of going around the feet area. Oops, trimming that off. So now I could just do connected delete. I'll actually select this, invert, and then delete. All right. What I will say is I, I have noticed Star Vision does a lot better with deleting uh, things in the point cloud and processing the data than uh, their other software, which is kind of neat. All right, so I usually go for max. Uh, I don't want smoothing. I don't want to remove. Because I know smoothing actually ruins the mesh quite well. Not in a good way. Like, it really distorts the accuracy. So I don't like smoothing. So I'm going to click uh, preview, and then I'll pause the recording. All right, and here is our little guy. So again, this was a very sloppy uh, scan, just to more or less show the, the tracking and how well that works with the rag. But as you can see, it actually picked up the model pretty well, considering how tiny it is and how, I mean, I didn't really go for a crazy good scan. I just kind of want to showcase how it works. But overall, it uh, it did its job and it got the uh, scan done. So just want to share one little like workflow for how I scan some items. Now, this was again, this was a tiny object that I scanned, but I actually used the same exact method for scanning cars um i'll i'll take a big like sheet and wrap it around the hood or whatever and overhang it on the fenders and then the doors and kind of work my way through the car and then i keep deleting the uh the scan data of the rag and then all the features align and then you have a perfectly high resolution car that's aligned very well without any doling spray or tracking markers so hopefully that helps someone or not yeah whatever